What is going on everybody? It's World of Tech and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your dynamic IP into a static IP with a free program which I'll have the link in the descriptions for you guys to download and to check it out and I highly recommend it for anybody out there who runs a TeamSpeak server or runs a Minecraft server. Hell, if you run anything out there on your IP address, you're going to need a static IP and the reason being is basically with a dynamic IP your internet provider provides you a new dynamic IP usually at the beginning of every month or if the power was to go out and your internet resets usually then it can provide you with a new IP I know back in the day when I used to have AT&T you'd unplug the router or the modem for like 30 seconds or so and plug them back in and voila new IP well that's a good thing, but also a bad thing if you're someone who runs servers. If you run a server with a dynamic IP, you constantly have to update the IP address. If not, then users will not be allowed to connect to your IP. So what this program does is it turns your dynamic into a static permanently. Never will it shut off unless you tell it to shut off. And with this program, you can change whether or not you're having your static IP or your dynamic IP. So here it is on the desktop, as you can see it's called Simple Static IP. We're going to double click on it and the UAC is going to pop up asking us to run it. Of course we're going to hit yes. And as you can see right here it's pretty easy. It's by the PCWinTech.com. That's the website. You can go check it out. Link will be in the description as well. And we're just going to kind of look over it real quick before we go in depth of the two basic simple buttons you really got to do. But if you are on a wireless and you have a wired connection, if you click this, it will show both. It will show your wireless connection, it will show your wireless and your wired one. And if you had Hamachi, I think Hamachi may show up because it installs a network adapter. So just be forewarned whenever you're doing this, you know, whatever your main connection is, you'll find out. And as you can see, this is the current information my computer runs. The IP address right now, because it's on a dynamic, is obviously 192.168.0.13. Um, which and a lot of people will freak out because people see their IPs and if someone knows your IP this is a kind of an easy way to get around uh, without them knowing it because you can technically change it now with this tool uh, like I said it's pretty easy you can have uh, presets which I really don't think they matter if you have presets or not um, but basically you can enable the static or disable the static IP and it's going to save your new information that it shows on the left of whatever your current is. Now right here you can see it says extra tools IP random new IP you can click this and it just kind of tells you uh, what it's going to generate the numbers from. Uh, you can use the current DNS by default or you can change it. I don't really mess around with that stuff the router or the open DNS I don't play around. The only thing I really use this for is just for the random new IP and you can click this as many times as you want and as you can see it keeps generating a new IP every time so 183, 180, 219, 213 so let's go ahead and let's say I want to use the 192.168.0.206 as my IP now just to show you guys this I'm going to bring this up and show you we do IP config and we still look here and that is the IP address on my computer at this moment it is 192.168.0.13 now this program is simple no restarts required to actually do this which is really nice so let's say I enable static IP couple seconds voila done that's all you have to do and then of course it closes out the program and just to show you guys real quick we'll do another IP config and there you go my IP address automatically is now a static IP address and that is the new IP address on the computer and so you see we'll open it up again and there you go my current information is now the 206 now if I wanted to go back to the dynamic IP address which it really won't matter so much if you are on a dynamic all you gotta do is hit disable static IP done it closes and we'll go ahead and IP config it again and it's now back to 206 again but if my connection was to go again, like if, if I was to restart my internet connection or if I was to unplug it or wait a month, then my IP would be automatically generated again, depending on your provider, obviously. So it's kind of a cool program, and I usually always have it on static IP, but I hadn't yet because I wanted to show this video to you guys and show that it works. And just so you guys see again, we'll change it again to uh, 240. We'll enable the IP, done, closes, IP config, and look. 240. 
is what the IP address is. So it's super easy, super simple. I highly recommend anybody who runs a server out there to download this. It took me forever to find something like this and basically it's something short, easy, and sweet. If you guys like this, please leave a comment, a like, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all the help. Um, and hopefully, like I said, this year we're going to have a lot of videos coming out. So uh, until then, this is Tyler from World of Tech. And as we always say here at World of Tech, get plugged in.